And it was Kenny now who took them to court again. And uh, we, like I said, I was there two and a half, nearly three years. But they used to come round all night, fucking banging the hatch and, you know, keeping you awake and shining the torch until you moved. They didn't really get any sleep. So, sort of got used to it, but it was very ad ad uh, uh, aggressive at the beginning. But even they sort of edged off a little bit towards the end. But Kenny got them shut down. They, they closed the triple cat A system in England because of Kenny and I. He paid a right few hundred grand to take it all the way to the European courts. The English courts said, no, you carry on, do what you want. But it was the European courts that got it shut down. They reopened it again now, but under big, different conditions. But, yeah, it was, uh, it was a strange thing. But it, in, in a way, it was good in its own way because you was away from the main... Uh, the main wings and all the trouble. Yeah. You know, apart from them coming round shining torches in your face, but we got that stopped pretty soon. I was only there about a year before that stopped. But it's still, like I say, we got it closed down because of inhumane treatment. How long were you together for? <clears throat> uh, me, me and Kenny spent nine years. Yeah, nearly nine years together on and off. I used to, I, I cooked for Kenny all, all the way through. and He used to chop the food up, I used to cook it because you can cook in them places. And I, I'm on the day that they closed it down, they sent me to uh, Full Sutton and they put Kenny on the wing. And then a couple of months later, they moved him up to Full Sutton. And then he was back again as a geo. He was cooking and thinking. And we trained together for years. He's a fat guy? Yeah, yeah. He's really very fat. fit. Yeah. yeah. And he's 70, Kenya. Yeah, yeah. He's out. I've not met him since Kenya. We're not allowed to be... Make contact with Excrim. 